Hi, I'm Mary of Mary Mary Stories and uh, today's project is a very nice, I believe, coal um, who is made with a <coughs> luxury um, paillette wool yarn. I used uh, Alize Superlana Midi Pulu yarn and I used the ruler in order to make these wraps around the ruler and then um, uh, put them off uh, the ruler and uh, make a single crochet row. Uh, to make this coal you need to chain multiples of uh, five stitches and I've chained the foundation chain of 120 stitches to achieve this uh, width. Uh, now for the video I'm going to make a, a small sample and I will uh, chain um, around uh, 20 chains in order to show you how to do uh, this a little bit um, let's say difficult uh, work I mean uh, working with a ruler with something uh, you need something so to um, achieve making these wraps uh, at the same um, length Let's uh, chain 20 and then when I have my last uh, chain in the hook I'm going to pull it. Okay, uh, these paillettes are a bit um, hard to pass through the chains sometimes but I believe it's worth it when you see uh, the coal which is uh, a nice idea to make for a Christmas gift uh, so when we have our 20th uh, chain on the hook take a ruler and pass it through this loop so we hold somehow the ruler uh, onto our right hand and don't uh, make it too tight insert your hook in next stitch pull up a loop and pull it and make it long enough so you can um, put it up on to the ruler okay we've made it then again uh, insert your hook in uh, next chain and we'll do that uh, across the row uh, inserting our hook in every chain and we pull up loops once you manage to hold both yarn and ruler it's going to be easy take it with your hand and put it on the ruler. Let's make it slow now at the beginning. Very simple movement. Insert our hook. Insert we are inserting our hook in every chain of the foundation chains. Pull a little bit our yarn so it's long enough and then uh, we are putting it on the ruler. These are the wraps that we are going to take in next row uh, in a group of five. That's why we need uh, multiples of five stitches. And we are going to uh, crochet, single crochets through the space in between them. So this is a lacy pattern and the way we are making the lace is that we are wrapping around uh, the ruler uh, for one row and uh, the return row uh, we are moving the lace from the ruler and we are doing the crochet on top of the loops. A little bit patient so I can do it on camera. And this is a, a thinner yarn that I am using now for the sample. 
The gray yarn is uh, in um, Alize Superlana, which is a heavier yarn, and you can do it with any yarn you want. Uh, my hood hook is a um, five millimeter crochet hook. Again, there is no um, uh, crochet hook size needed to obtain this uh, result. You can do it with any hook you want and slowly slowly we are uh, coming to the end of the row I'll meet you at the end of the row in a moment For row 2, uh, we are going to take the first, uh, keep your yarn first uh, to the back and then with your hook or with your hand, uh, this is a plastic ruler so I can bend it uh, and take easily my first 5 strands of yarn and put them off um, the ruler and I twist them. So the last uh, strand of yarn I put uh, away from the ruler becomes the first and I insert there my hook into the space of uh, in between these five strands and I'm working a single crochet and then another four, four single crochets in that space so in total we have five single crochets just as uh, the number of strands we uh, chose to work with. So we are crocheting these five single crochets and you can see these twisted yarns. Again I'm going to take uh, the second group of five um, strands, five wraps of yarn around the ruler and we have to take them in an order one next to the other. Let's do it with our finger to understand better what we are doing or with our hook. Take it one, two, three count and take these five strands. Once you have uh, take them out outside take off your hook and twist them to the right you see they are uh, holding there in place and insert your hook, hook from front to the back and work a single crochet and then it's very easy in the same space you are going to be working uh, another four single crochets five strands away from the ruler and five single crochets. It's a very simple row to do and uh, you should have at the end 20 stitches, 20 single crochets just as uh, we had 20 wraps on our first row. Hold the yarn to the back, take the next five wraps, pull them uh, away from the ruler, twist them and insert your hook this way. Oops, one is gone. I'm going to take it again. 
so make it slow and be patient at this point uh, I promise you that in uh, second third row that we are going to work it's going to be like a very very easy thing to do at the beginning our hands are a little bit clumsy and uh, being afraid of losing these strands we're not working uh, comfortably we have our last five strands so put away the ruler and twist them and put again the hook from the front and very very easily work five single crochets I forgot to tell you we are working on a, um, to make this call we are making a flat piece and then uh, we are going to sew up the sides and form the call this is the second row and we have to turn our work we should already pull this last uh, loop we had on our hook and it's better to turn and then put the ruler not that as I'm doing right now on camera so turn the ruler is got to be the strands has to be to the left side of the ruler so I'm going to pull it and put it this way so I'm holding the ruler with my right hand and then the yarn with my left hand and insert my hook in second stitch and pull up a loop and put it uh, on the ruler and as in row before we are doing the same thing we are inserting our hook in every stitch pull up a loop pull it and make it long enough to be able to attach it to the ruler and one by one a, the plastic ruler is um, very easy to work with and continue working this way inserting your hook in every stitch and pulling out loops and putting them on the ruler uh, I hope you like this pattern and um, if you make it tell me all about it uh, and ask me anything I would be very happy to uh, answer you one by one patiently for the first rows don't worry um, our hands are very um, are able to do many many things and this lace pattern I believe it's worth uh, because it gives this uh, texture with the long wraps again let's make it slow and work in every stitch you may do this coal with uh, any yarn you want even with heavier yarns like chunky yarns not only worth it and of course with um, thinner yarns like this I'm working on this sample I'm gonna make it slow take your coffee take you, your cup of tea and let's go to work at the last stitches of this row so again I'm telling that uh, uh, on one row 
we are um, creating the wraps and on the next row uh, we are crocheting single crochets on top of these loops. If you go slow you are not going to miss any any stitch. Just put them in order so uh, one strand uh, lays next to the other in good order and if they are a, li a little bit messy don't worry. And when you have a lot of of stitches as I have uh, in this collar I have made um, you are going to put them and uh, pull them so they can um, be one next to the other all the 120 stitches don't worry uh, this ruler is enough to keep this number of wraps we have one or two stitches more to go and don't make them too tight so you can easily uh, insert your hook in between and uh, choose the, the group of five in next row so we did it again turn to row uh, to work row four to work row four hold your yarn to the back and with your hook bend a little bit the ruler and take the first five strands of yarn put them away take out your uh, hook and as you can see they are standing in the right position so you insert your hook from the front to the back and let's do it again because I made something wrong okay made it and work a single crochet and uh, four more single crochets right as before this is a repetition of, of row two so you are going to be working one row of making wraps around the ruler and uh, a second row uh, working five single crochets in between the space of these five wraps. Uh, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing. So subscribe and uh, don't forget to tap the bell to get notified for every video I am posting and um, I, I'd love to, to hear all about uh, your ideas on what uh, you should uh, you would like to see as uh, the next uh, project and this is good for me so I know what you are interested in and uh, I'm making the things that you'd like to see. I imagine that uh, a, a coal in a festive uh, yarn it's a good idea to make uh, if you want to start making your gifts for Christmas early and September and October is um, a good period to work these ideas for a gift again take off five strands of yarn and work five single crochets okay when you are working the row with the single crochets you are holding the ruler with your left hand and on the other row that you are creating the wraps you are holding the the ruler with your right hand on my block I'm going to write the full pattern so you know uh, what exactly is the width 
uh, of this coal, which now I don't remember and I have lost it somewhere in the house. When I find it, I'm going to uh, measure it and give you all the, um, the full dimensions, the length and the width for this coal. And we are working now the final five single crochets for this row. And I'm just showing you that when you have the last stitch on your hook, you are going to pull it so it it is long enough to put it uh, in the beginning of next row on the ruler. This is the lacy pattern. I believe uh, you like it. It is uh, known as a broomstick lace pattern and uh, I, as far as I, I saw um, people are using uh, a big uh, needle or a big pencil in order to do it I prefer this uh, ruler method and um, you can choose your own the way is the same and choose any yarn you like and make your gifts Thank you very much for following me, um, keep well, uh, I wish you have a relaxing and uh, warm winter. Bye!